us. Well, that's the SBI chairman on the exposure to the Adani Group. No loan against shares. That's important there as far as SBI is concerned. LIC sources telling CNBC TV 18 that they will get in touch with the top management of the Adani Group to understand the future strategy. They also claim that they've not sold any shares in this current market sell-off. Yash is standing by with more Yash. Well, Shireen, uh, if you remember, it was January 30th when we had first gotten in touch with the management at LIC when they had told CNBC TV 18 that they are not trigger buyers or trigger sellers, they are long-term investors. And back then, they had said that they had not sold any shares of uh, any of the Adani Group companies. Since then, it's been about seven trading sessions. There has been some ferocious selling which we've seen in various Adani Group companies. And we got in touch with our sources at LIC again to understand what's happened in the last seven days. The stand remains the same as per our sources. No shares, no holding of LIC has been sold uh, as far as uh, the management and our sources are concerned at LIC. Uh, what they say is that uh, the strategy of being long-term investors still remains intact and no action has been taken on that front. Not just that, sources also tell us that uh, LIC management plans to schedule a call with the Adani management. This could as, uh, happen as soon as next week, where things would be discussed in terms of the future strategy on business, future strategy on debt, also uh, the, 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 the fall that we've seen in stock prices, because of course that impacts LIC's investment book as well. So all those issues are expected to come up for discussion between LIC and Adani when that call happens next week. Uh, as far as uh, you know, numbers are concerned, we've been reporting daily on how LIC's investment value has been going down. But uh, largely, if you look at their investment portfolio out of the total AUM, uh, LIC has about 0.97% exposure uh, to the Adani Group companies. As far as equity AUM is concerned, that exposure stands at about 8%. Okay, Yash, many thanks for joining us. And the Adani crisis continues to disrupt proceedings in Parliament for the second day 